Hi, in this video I'll show you how to decrypt the third tweet by NSA. Uh, this tweet was sent on uh, Monday the 19th and uh, to do this uh, I will go ahead and use a technique I tweeted about uh, yesterday which is uh, using Python. And uh, the reason why we will be using Python is because I will need the help of the computer to deal with the Spanish language. So you can follow uh, the thread of uh, the other videos that I posted on the subject. So let's get started with uh, taking the text of the tweet and uh, copying the contents. Next, what we need is uh, the letter frequencies or the portions of Spanish words which are then put into a single file that can be used by the computer in order to detect Spanish language. And when the computer can detect Spanish language, it then can match the decryption key. All right, so I'll show you how that's done. Now we have a set of uh, languages on the practicalcryptography.com website, which we've used before. We'll go ahead and go to the Spanish letter frequencies. And here what we need is the uh, Spanish uh, uh, quadgrams uh, file. I'll go ahead and download this file. So we'll save this file into my cipher directory. Again, in the previous video, I show you how to uh, install and use some of the files in this directory, some of the Python scripts. We'll save this file. And now what we need to do is, first of all, uh, we're going to unzip the file we just downloaded. So let's go ahead and unzip it. We have to note the new name of the file. It's called Spanish underscore quadgrams.txt. All right. So next, I'm going to create a new Python file. And uh, we'll go ahead and call this Python file uh, break spanish.py. Now let's go inside of this file. And inside of the file, what we are going to do is we're going to install, first of all, the, uh, the, the text of the tweet. So this right here, uh, the NBL and so forth, is the text of the tweet. Okay, I obviously uh, use the script to try different variances, um, but uh, we're going to start from scratch, so this is going to be the original text of the tweet. Next, instead of using the English language, we're going to switch this and uh, follow the same name of the file as we just unzipped. So this is our Spanish language uh, bits and pieces that help us to detect Spanish language as, as the computer tries every possible key uh, in, a in a sequence. Okay, with the file being ready now, I will save the file and now I can execute it. And let's see what happens. We're going to go ahead and run the uh, Python uh, executable against our script. And momentarily, the script will start up. And uh, look at that. On the first iteration, uh, the script detected the Spanish language. Now the difficulty with this particular piece is that I am not a native speaker of Spanish, uh, so I would not be as efficient with picking out individual words. Uh, I do hablo a little bit of Espanol, so we'll see how I'll be able to uh, do this job with the help of our friend Google. So let's go ahead and uh, go to Google um, Translate, and in Google Translate, I'm going to start by pasting in the uh, the text. So right away, even Google detected here Spanish language, which is great. Two thumbs up. What I need to do now is I need to be able to help Google determine which words uh, um, are are separate. And so then we'll see the English translation showing up. So let's get started. Loss is going to be um, a separate word. And the next word, scientificos, let's do that. And you can see Google already picking out the translation. And then we have uh, de la 
and then uh, let's see this is not exactly uh, the Spanish language but uh, uh, we'll come back to that in just a second uh, TNN is going to be a, a word in, in Spanish um, la oportunidad makes sense and then de emplear and then uh, sus iniciativas perfect and then habilidades all right so uh, abilities and then let's see and talentos para aprender and let's see uh, there okay great we're really close so scientists computers or computer scientists have the opportunity to expand your or their skills and talents initiatives to learn and be imaginative great so I think we have the uh, basic meaning of the tweet but take a look at this um, Google is correcting us it says hey you should have used a special uh, Spanish character which of course we can understand but then the word computers is misspelled so uh, whoever uh, tweeted this uh, perhaps uh, a little typo uh, but we get the meaning so thank you very much uh, for uh, uh, for this challenge uh, my script will continue running it will try to uh, do more iterations uh, but of course you can see how this Python script was fairly efficient with finding the uh, key code and then um, identifying Spanish words in uh, these sentences and then we use Google to actually come up with the meaning in the English language. Thank you very much.